Hi Pisces, welcome to your unexpected reading for August 29th through September 28th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend a reader shout out which goes to the Tarot Charmer. Uh, I think her channel was called Marriage Tarot before. Anyway, much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to check her out, show her some love and support if you like what she has to say. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life, such as friends, family, work, uh, money, job, travel, school, stuff, pets, all that. All right. Just random everyday stuff. But I intend it for a romantic love reading. Okay. All right, Pisces. We're going on for the month of September, essentially. Pisces unexpected. Knight of Swords. Okay, Temperance. So we got Aquarius here. We got Temperance of uh, Sagittarius there. Hermit. So Virgo. Queen of Cups. That could be Cancerian or Pisces or Scorpio, but I read it as Cancerian or Cancer. Um, High Priestess. That could be Pisces or Cancer. And the Hierophant. What is up with all the... Oh my God. There's been a lot of readings where most of them are um, Major Arcana. So uh, yeah, Hierophant. That could be Taurus. So Taurus, Pisces or Cancerian, Cancerian, Sagittarius, Virgo. One, two, three, four. Four out of seven major arcana. Plus one. Pretty significant. All right. What are they dealing with here? What we got going on? What's going on? King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could also be Leo or Aries or anybody that's just really dynamic and. Um, Quite the starter, maybe not the finisher, but just really kind of loves life, loves creating. Typically an honorable person, but sometimes they can get, kind of get carried away with the attention and want to be everywhere all the time and not settle on one thing. Um, good leader, good entrepreneur. All right. The host with the most. Oh, I thought I heard my cat. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> all right. So, what do we got going on here? So, this is all about you taking some much needed time to practice self-care and get your emotions back online after someone might have been kind of, well, basically disregarded how you felt about things or wanted things their way in a certain way. Um, hmm. Is this about someone wanting to come rushing back in and and tell you this or promise you that or or just whatever it takes? See, that's the thing. It feels like they're wanting to come back in, if that's the case. If the, Okay, if there is someone coming back in, it feels like it's just a means to an end. It doesn't feel like there's any uh, longevity to it. It's situational. It's someone wanting to establish something, either control or a precedent so they can come back later, but... If there is a reconnection or an attempt at one by this person, it feels like it's not consistent. It was almost like, you know what, I've got a layover in this town and I'm going to see what so-and-so is up to. It's like that. There's no longevity. It's just situationally defined. What's this hermit about for Pisces? What's this hermit about? Ace of Pentacles. What's this King of Wands? Yeah, because there's no security with that. So I can see why you're like, ah, oh, let me think about that. I need to know, go low and slow with my thought process. One step at a time, one day at a time. Don't rush me. I need to think about that. This is King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Ah. This Queen of Cups. So they weren't offering the security. They were probably a lot of fun, but... Probably not really big on the follow-through or stability or um, it and it, 
for some of you, it could be someone was quite the diva and quite demanding. Quite the perfectionist, wanted things a certain way. I mean, it, the downside of that is that somebody can be pretty impulsive and impetuous. Um, really high expectations of everybody around them to show up in service of for them, but not a lot of reciprocity. And that's probably why here you are, Pisces, I know this is Virgo, but here you are really thinking like, okay, this is about me providing it for myself or me thinking about my new beginnings because I'm not going back to this situation because I don't need this business. That's shenanigans right there. This is Queen of Cups. Emotional triage. What's this Queen of Cups about? Uh-huh. Okay, so this is all about you taking measures to sequester and squirrel yourself away from this person because their demands are quite high. And you're like, nope. Uh, uh being strategic and being stealthy and careful about you about getting your needs met about you wanting to take care of your own needs and not have to worry about this person restoring and replenishing your emotional supply because you've been depleted because someone could have been very demanding was quite demanding what's this high priestess about this high priestess. I can hear my cat. She's like around. I can hear her. <laughs> I'm, she, it feels like she's in one spot though. She's not bringing anything. So that's good, I guess. This is high priestess. I'm going to have the whole laundry basket down here in a minute. <laughs> high priestess for Pisces. Temperance again. Yep. I feel like this is setting up boundaries. Honestly, I feel like this is you setting up boundaries because this is all about you being completely non-engaged, no contact, not talk, not reaching out, giving yourself plenty of time and taking care of you and the focus is on you and replenishing you and not, not reaching out, not worrying about this other person. And I, I just, I feel like this is boundaries, honestly. Much needed, don't get me wrong. What's this here kind about? To restore faith, right? We got the angel here, two angels, woo. What's this here kind about? Could be Taurus. The high priest, good gracious. The high priestess, look at the repeaters here. Temperance and the high priestess. Needing to, this is about restoring your spiritual connection, your divine um, being divinely guided, protected, and also having faith restored. This is you essentially being, uh, coming back online without this person and be, without being under the thumb from them. And it wasn't always like that, but this person could kind of flip on a dime. They could go there and that was a technique or a tactic they used to, to, I mean, they, they could be the most generous and kind person and a lot of fun, but then they could pull it up short like that and everybody was like, whoa, what just happened? And it was a way to control and a way to get what they want. And that doesn't really have any place in an intimate connection where you're supposed to be able to be vulnerable and, you know, authentic and all that. So I don't want somebody snapping their fingers at me and I have to hop to it. I don't feel like it. I want pancakes. <laughs> Yeah, that, that just, that, that kind of, that doesn't have any place in a intimate relationship. So it's like, you know, it's a lot of fun on the surface, but as far as for this person, I'm not saying for the, the king of wands, but for this person, the type of dynamic here, they were probably, there's probably like a, a spiritual void here. I mean, that's one of the, but this is somebody that doesn't have a whole lot internally, doesn't have that divine connection or that divine guidance. Like their, um, you know, their inner voice is on mute. <laughs> It's either on mute or it's got a bullhorn. There's no in between. <laughs> but, and when I say got a bullhorn, that or it's not really their inner voice, it, their inner guidance. It's more like their ego or what they want right now. That's got the bullhorn. But as far as any kind of spiritual connection or following your gut, listening to your gut, it's on mute. There's a, there's a void there. So this could be someone, because of that, eventually it always will, um, there wasn't really a connection. And if there was one, it ran out very quickly and it quickly became about them instead of you and you two connecting. So 
And this is all about you coming back online again and honestly setting up boundaries, being strategic, taking care of your own emotional needs, not looking to this person. I feel like they're going to be coming back in and reaching out and you just have no part of that. You don't need that. What's his temperance about? Three, a bit. yay, doing your own thing. Deciding who, yeah, boundaries. Boundaries, deciding who and what and when you spend time with, on, or devote time to, but it's not going to be this person's command. It's going to be, and I, I feel like they don't even factor in. I feel like they're trying to come back in. I feel like they might be sending messages, might be trying to tell so-and-so to tell you, or they even show up, but you're just not giving them any quarter. Something has shifted. There's been some kind of uh, transformation or shift of focus, realization, awareness, whatever you want to call it, that the focus has now shifted to you, to healing, to replenishing, restoring, and you, you feel pretty solid and grounded in why you have taken this stance. It's not a very aggressive one, but it is no less solid. It's just not out there with the wands and the swords waving. It's just a very silent, but strong and steady and um, immovable stance on this. This is not about you protecting yourself from yourself. Like, oh, I've got to insulate myself with friends so that I don't answer the phone or the door or whatever. This is about you probably spending a lot of time by yourself and in solitude and not being moved or threatened by them coming back in if they should, which it feels like they are. And that's probably why you've gone so whoosh, because they, they're wanting their needs met and you know, you took their cookies away and they want, they want their cookies. And it feels like honestly that you've turned a corner that you're not Wherever you were three months ago, you're not there anymore. There, there's been enough time and enough awareness and perspective and your gut's kicking in and you're like, oh, like this is intuition leading to awareness and perspective. perspective. So you're not vulnerable or susceptible or wanting to please like you were three months ago. There's been a shift. Watch it be the devil. Just because, just as confirmation that, yeah, this was not a good situation for you. It's, it's you're in a good place now. So, yep, hangman. Didn't we have the hangman? Oh, I guess we did. Oh, I thought we did. Huh. This always feels very hangmanish. Like temperance and hangman are kind of, kind of. They often show up together. That hangman and um, cause these two are Pisces, but they, these often run together for me. So uh, this is Pisces. This is about transition. You're transitioning out of this relationship because your awareness and your perspective of it is different. Uh, a lot of soul searching, a lot of coming back online, emotional triage, being very strategic and smart about your choices, your interaction, who you, where's that three of, didn't we have three of pentacles? I could have sworn we had three of pentacles here somewhere. There it is. Um, who you spend your time with, this is being the captain of your own ship, working on what you want to, devoting your time and energy um, on what you want to. This is work. This also could be meditative work like gardening or just doing things that bring you a sense of peace and joy to help you process. There's a lot of process time here. So this is a very, it could be a lot of a month spent with a lot of friends, but this is a very solitary month, but you don't seem to mind it. It seems like you prefer it. It's just, it's, you just, it's like you're enjoying the calm. And they, like I said, there's some kind of transition that happened because you've turned a corner. You're not where you were three months ago. You've got a completely different perspective on this, which I mean, it's good. So it's not, but as far as anybody new coming in, one, it's not here. And two, I don't think you want them to. I don't think you're really, you're not, you're still kind of processing this and trying to get out from under the, the void of that. It's like you're not in any hurry to to find somebody else to fill this void. You're 
you're your own good company and you're plenty social it's not like you're just completely sequestered you're out there you're socializing but there's a uh there's it's a, like a much more calm approach to things you're not frenzied you're not in a hurry it's just different there's this i don't know there's this calmness about this you're not scared which, you know, honestly, I'm glad for. <laughs> that was for Pisces. That, that would be a hard read. Because, I mean, to, to, to feel that or to see that, and then you, you can't help or get to it, that, mm -mm, that's hard. That was for Pisces. Yay! Okay, creativity. So that's what this um, Queen of Cups about is, is about also is you coming back online because your creativity is coming back. A lot of times when you're suppressed or you've been through a really trying or hard situation, everything goes out the window, self-care, everything. And this is you coming back online. This is you waking back up because you have, you can now. Your, your time and energy doesn't have to be spent on maintaining or trying to figure out or read between the lines or do something for someone or on someone else's time frame. This gets to be about you and what and when you want to do things. Yay. 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 This feels, okay, well maybe that's a Pisces. I was say, this feels really like dreamy, like really kind of just like, you're just kind of walking around with your friends and you're just kind of, you know, they might be like, oh, let's go do this. And you're just kind of going along and you're just kind of just really even keel about it. It feels very calm and dreamy and sleepy and very just kind of, ha, da, da. it doesn't, I don't know. It just, it, hmm. Interesting. All right. That's the Pisces. It's, it's funny because it's like the, it's like this blanket, <laughs> it's like this blanket coming and just, it's, just everything's really calm. Hmm. So that's going to be the theme for September is calm. <laughs> what else for Pisces? All right. So we, I think that's reverse. I think that's temperance reverse, right? Isn't that temperance reverse? Not temperance, judgment. It's, it's judgment reversed. It's supposed to be the, yeah, that's judgment reversed the chariot so no chance on this person coming in hot coming in hot probably asking for a reconciliation but also indicative of them not able to see their fault this is somebody who's very proud in this context this is somebody that is very proud doesn't look at what they've done to contribute to the downfall of a situation doesn't take ownership or blame um you know, so a reconciliation is not going to happen because of that. Because who wants any of that business? Um, and this is you moving forward, onward and upward. Could be Cancerian. So this is no reconciliation. And it's almost like because of that, it's not holding you back anymore. Like taking off like a rocket. Forward progression, victory, huge victory. Not This is not six of wands. This is like huge victory chariot stuff you're the emperor you're driving the emperor around you're you've got your self-control in the back seat and you're i was gonna say <laughs> you're commanding this huh no um you're in the driver's seat basically firm control and forward movement in your life so there you go yay and i i honestly i like that no reconciliation you don't need that you're in a good place shenanigans stay over there yeah all right, Pisces, I thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad this is coming. I remember one, I think I started yelling. I was like, something about you back off and you hear me, hear me. And then this is just, so I'm glad for that. <laughs> okay, um, I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Take care.